morning, Linda. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. Hey, all parents have done it. The kids are home from school. You want to teach them a life lesson, so you take them to work. And if your job happens to be air traffic controller, you take your son to the control tower at JFK. This is what you get, guys, when the kids are out of school. Get the 171 contact to park. Over to Parker, gentlemen, 171. Awesome job. That's what pilots were hearing February 17th. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody gets a little laugh. And the kid has the lingo down. AMAX 403, contact departure, adios. Contact departure, Idle Mexico 403, adios. Contact departure, adios, amigos. Adios, amigos, over to departure, JetBlue 195. He's helping our relations with Latin America, too. At one point, one of the pilots responds, Wish I could bring my kid to work, and why not? Those planes practically fly themselves. And a lot of us do this. My daughter hosted this show a few years ago. How hard could it be? But the FAA... Humorless as ever, has suspended both the dad and his boss while they investigate. Although, you know, maybe the chief FAA investigator could have his kid investigate. Was anybody in danger? Probably not. But was it an error in judgment to let your kid guide giant aircraft in the post-9-11 world, knowing everything is going to be taped and posted on the Internet? Yeah. Mary Schiavo used to run the FAA. You are allowed to have guests in the air traffic control tower, but they are not allowed to direct traffic. So... While the controller could have taken a guest to work with him, there are strict rules about they cannot interfere, they have to stay out of the way. And you can't do this. Good day, dude. Delta 216. See you later, dude. You know, though, here's an idea. Suppose Sasha and Malia take a crack at the health care thing. Just a thought. This is Dave Ross back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.